Hi! In this video, I will try to answer a question I get a lot. Do lasers react to a very powerful magnet? I have a lot of videos on both magnets and lasers, but I have never shown how lasers react near a magnet. Will the laser beam, which is electromagnetic radiation, react to a strong magnetic field? Will the electronics in the laser? And what about a laser show? Will that react to a magnet? Let's find out. Big neodymium magnets will bite you beyond repair. Do not handle unless you are aware of and accept all risks involved. And powerful lasers will burn your eyes faster than you can blink. Wear safety glasses and don't attend what I do in this video. Let's warm up with a cheap laser pointer to see if the electronics and optics will work near a magnet. Um, the impact broke the clip off and the laser of course turns off when I'm not holding the push button. But the laser pointer still works even when sitting right on top of the magnet. The electronics and optics don't seem to care. And without the clip, I can have the magnet hold the button for me. There's your life hack for the day. Actually, a clothespin will do the same without having to break off the clip. The clip is clearly magnetic, but what about the other parts? The laser assembly itself is magnetic. The battery compartment, not so much. The batteries are strongly magnetic and the main reason for the pointer to be heavily drawn towards a magnet. Here's another type of laser, a direct diode violet laser pointer. Seems perfectly fine, except it isn't. When looking at the dot near the camera, I noticed something is wrong. The dot is acting up. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like the impacts from several tests have knocked something loose inside it. I can't get anything to fall out, but the conclusion of the first test is the electronics and optics have no apparent issues near a magnet. Well, the push button can be a bit erratic. However, the impact from flying against a magnet is a problem. Don't drop or knock your lasers. They are delicate optical precision instruments. Now, how about the laser beam itself? Light is electromagnetic radiation, so it only seems logical that a strong magnet will affect the electromagnetic light. And the straight beam from a laser is perfect for testing it. For this test, I will use my most visible laser. The 400 plus milliwatts green beam from this Hercules laser is bright. No need for smoke, haze or fog in the air. Dust and even Rayleigh scattering makes the beam clearly visible in mid-air. As a wise person once said, children are afraid of the dark, adults are afraid of the light. I for one certainly have great respect for this light beam and this setup will not work for me. With safety goggles on I can't see the beam and will likely hit it with the reflecting magnets. Burning random stuff on and around me with a reflected laser beam is not my thing. Instead, I will perform the test on the floor with much better control. With the laser warmed up, first test is for horizontal movement of the beam. Don't mind the bright flashes and reflections from dust getting in the beam's path. We are looking for any left-right motion of the beam as the magnet passes beneath it. I did not see any effect. Let's look for vertical motion in the second test. Mm, 
Nada. The beam's path is not changed at all by my strongest magnet. Dust have more effect than the magnet. The beam is a bit above the magnet, where the magnetic field strength is not at maximum. Maximum is right on the edge, as shown earlier. But for my and my camera's safety, I will not aim the beam right over the edge. I don't need to. Any light, be it a laser beam or the light reflected by this ruler into the camera, is electromagnetic radiation. Do you see any distortion in the light passing near the magnet? If the magnet could bend a laser beam, it would distort all light passing near it. We would see some distortion around the magnet. Maybe something like this visual effect. Would be cool, but does not happen in reality. Let's try a laser that will be distorted by a magnet. Approaching on the electronic side of this show laser, only the key and a louder noise reveal the magnet. On the galvo side, the projected image is suddenly enlarged by the magnet. The galvanometers inside the show laser use a magnetic field to rotate mirrors. They move farther when beefed up by the extra magnetic field from the external magnet, until they at some point are overwhelmed and the image gets distorted. Finally, I am bending a laser beam with a magnet. Sort of. Let's try on the other axis. Oh, oh, that's not good. Everything but the green laser shut down and the green laser is projected at an angle that shouldn't be possible. I tested with a smaller magnet before trying with the largest magnet, just to make sure there isn't a lot of ferromagnetic metal in the laser. With the smaller magnet, I was able to switch the relay that is usually activated by the key. But the effect with the large magnet is much more comprehensive and I don't hear a relay clicking. Let me know in the comments if you know why it shuts down. The show laser and the software need to be restarted and the USB cable reconnected for the laser to work again. Yes, it still works, but this is obviously not healthy for the show laser. Highly not recommended, but now we know how different lasers react to a magnet. Next, I'll try to answer why a laser beam is not bent by a magnet, despite the beam's electromagnetic nature. The most common answer is that light has no electric charge. Magnets can bend the path of electrically charged particles, like I have demonstrated with electrons in a CRT. But without an electric charge, the neutral light experiences no force in the magnetic field. It just moves on like the magnetic field isn't even there. This is all good, but for me, it doesn't really explain why the electromagnetic part of light is unaffected by a magnetic field. Here's how I see it. Light is an oscillation, a wave traveling through the electromagnetic field. The key part being that light is a disturbance in the already existing electromagnetic field. So it doesn't matter if the laser beam travels in the Earth's magnetic field or in the stronger magnetic field over the magnet. Light will always be an oscillation relative to the already existing electromagnetic field, be it weak before the magnet or strong over the magnet. Light is just a ripple in the existing field. Light is therefore not affected by the electric field inside a plasma ball either. This was difficult to set up safely. Look at all those reflections. Also notice how the laser beam is not visible in the clean, dust and moisture-free atmosphere inside the plasma ball. I hope you liked this video enough to click like, and maybe even subscribe and click the notification bell. I have many more videos to come thanks to the support from my patrons.
thanks to all my patrons. It's really appreciated, not just by me, but also by my many viewers who don't have a dollar to spare. Keeping niche videos like this one coming is not easy on my own, but luckily some of you help me keep going through Patreon. In case you can and want to help me out, I have a link for my Patreon page in the description. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.